Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and it's a weekly reading for the week of November 4th to the 10th. Scorpio, this week we have the Age of Light Oracle card. We have the Five of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, the Devil, Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. So yeah, I haven't seen the Devil for a few weeks, guys. Um, it jumped out. It really wanted to affirm itself in this reading. The words I'm hearing is dancing with the devil. Um, there is something that it's it's holding you back from, which is really clear to me. And um, there is a big sense of purging the darker energies that are taking up room for the light here at the moment. So let's go to your oracle card just to kick things off. The age of light. So you've been training for this life for lifetimes. Mystics and sages throughout the ages have protected this period in history and you have decided to incarnate in the middle of it. There is no mistake that you are supposed to be here. It is time of great change. If you ever feel unprepared or daunted by the path that is calling you, know this. You've been training for this for lifetimes. You're way more than the days that have breathed life through you, through you in this life. You're also all the lifetimes that came before. All of these experiences have polished your soul into the most magnificent expression of your authentic self. Yeah, I mean, so some of you, some of you guys, Scorpio, are potentially light workers. You know, you've really come here for a purpose to hold that light, to hold a higher frequency. Now, there's also a, a really big period of ascension going on at the moment. Um, this year we moved into the 5D consciousness. And the thing is that when we start moving into that, the darker energies often um, come up to be re-experienced so they can be purged from our life because we can't be in both you know 5d and 3d consciousness and that's what i'm seeing for you here i'm seeing a situation being brought up to the surface um, so that it can be released because we can see that there is um, you know much bigger better and brighter things on their way for you so recent past here we have the five of swords and we have the devil energy so yeah, I'm really strongly hearing those words, dancing with the devil. So for me, you know, that means that, you know, there has been a darker energy or a toxic situation that you have been within. But, you know, you have been dancing the dance. You have been going along with it because the devil energy also has that feeling of, um, you know, codependency of, you know, putting up with it, going along with it. You know, these people here, the lovers, are chained here but these chains are loose enough for them to get um, you know to get away to get them over their head so they can leave but there's this feeling of staying in that situation because there is some kind of you know payoff that is worth the cost for you maybe short term you thought so but the thing is that if we stay in something toxic long term obviously it's going to start sucking the life out of us just like a bat now, um, with that five of cent swords here, I feel like there's, um, you know, there's obviously probably been a series amount, uh, a series of arguments, um, maybe cutting words, maybe this person puts you down, maybe this person uses their, you know, their, their tongue like a sword and um, communicates in a way that makes you feel, um, you know, weaker, um, almost like the victim, um, keeps you feeling small so that you stay in the situation. Maybe it's eroded your self-esteem over the course of time. Now I'm strongly feeling um, a you know partnership situation with this two of cups in the reading guys. So for some of you this could be a romantic relationship. For others of you this could be in you know the workplace with a business partner or a really close relationship with a boss or mentor that may have been manipulating you. Now the thing with this Five of Swords is that it is a card of victory, but it's a victory that comes at a cost. So has somebody may have been trying to win, win you over all the time, or to use these um, tools of manipulation to win in the situation. Um, but you know, it's been an uneven battle. You know, these people here, which could be you, or you could be, you know, the other party, have put down their swords because they can't fight it anymore. And this could also be the indication that you've had enough, that you can't do this anymore, that you're not willing to engage in that kind of behavior because you're ascending and you're reaching a new vibrational frequency and this energy no longer is a match for you. So I really feel that you know you, you may be feeling defeated but it's time to put down your swords and, and walk away from the situation. So yeah I mean I feel in this reading too that this devil energy has been holding you back from 
um, you know, other opportunities and offers that may be just behind a doorway for you. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a person that's holding you back. The devil energy can also stand for um, codependency or addictions. Um, is there something that you're you're addicted to or repetitive behavior that's holding you back? Some people it can be spending too much money or being bad with their finances. Um, it can be, you know, substance abuse and that kind of thing as well. Something that's holding us in a position of being stuck. So, yeah, focus energies this week. We have the Two of Cups which came out with the Eight of Swords and... We've got that with the Page of Cups. So, yeah, I mean, for me, this talks about that devil energy that has made you feel bound, has made you feel stuck, and this is what needs to be released this week. So, you know, this person here, you know, might be um, blindfolded and bound, but the sword that was entrapping her has been moved she can actually choose to walk forward because there's a clear path in front of her but there's a sense of um, you know self-imposed victim mentality um, or something like that that's keeping her keeping her stuck keeping her bound voluntarily and you know swords is the suit of the intellect and of the mind so this could be that you have been feeling so you know beaten down downtrodden by this dark energy that you feel that, you know, it's hard to move forward because you start to identify with that and you start to believe that's who you are. But, you know, I really feel that you can you can really break through from this this week, Scorpio. You know, and the Two of Cups here, you know, there's a couple of um, readings for it here. I feel like this could be this um, relating to the situation that you're feeling um, bound to can be in a very strong twin flame or relationship sense. It could be with a Leo here. We've got the link to Leo in the Two of Cups. But also this can be um, indicative of, you know, what, um, what the situation is holding you back from. Holding you back from finding a true connection in business, in love. A connection of purity that's not tainted by this one upmanship that we're seeing here. And uh, we have the Page of Cups here. So... This could be, you know, an apology coming in from the person. Um, it could also be an unexpected person or message coming through that's going to lead you in another direction. But what I love about the Page of Cups in this reading, Scorpio, is that if the devil is a dark energy, the Page of Cups is light and friendly and vibrant and unexpected. So there could be an unexpected person or message that comes in this week that sets you free. That makes you see the light side of life again could be a younger water sign person so Scorpio Cancer or Pisces but I feel that this um, there's some kind of secret that lies in here it could also be a younger person coming in that will um, help to find that next chapter for you in your situation because we see in the cards that are coming a situation that can go the distance that um, really has longevity. So be on the lookout for that. Expect the unexpected this week, Scorpio, because look at these cards here in your near future. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, sorry about that, Scorpio. I got a flat battery and I've had to resume this reading just um, a short while later. So um, yeah, we were up to your near future um, and we have these beautiful cards here. We've got the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Ten of Pentacles. So look, this is what is on offer for you, Scorpio. If you can release yourself from, you know, the situation, from that toxicity. Because when we um, stay in a situation, we have an energetic cord to that situation, which energetically takes up the space that the light could move into as in new opportunities. Um, have you ever noticed that when you're in that negative mindset, when you're not feeling good about yourself, that things don't come your way? But as soon as you start to release, as soon as you raise your vibration, that's when energetically the space is there to attract those higher vibrational um, situations and opportunities to you. And here we have the Ace of Pentacles. Here we have a solid offer, the seeds of a stabi stability, the seeds of a solid offer coming in for you. Now with the Ace of Pentacles, it says there might be a mountain to climb, a path to walk, a portal to jump through for you and to be able to um, seize this opportunity, this possibility. And I think that that is releasing this situation. That is clearing up those toxic ties first. Um, and then, you know, 
it's quite possible that somebody will make you an offer or something's going to happen in your favor. Now with the Ace of Pentacles being um, number one in the tarot deck, it is the seeds of the opportunity. So it's not like a fully presented opportunity coming in for you on a silver platter. It's somebody saying to you, hey, you know, um, maybe let's go out on a date. And it seems to be all lined up and it has the potential to grow into something. It can be someone who comes to you with a business idea, a project idea, um, so it says that so-and-so company are looking for a new employee and it happens to be, you know, what you're looking for. And then you take the inspired action to move that along, to grow it, to water that seed, to nurture it, to expand the opportunity. Um, either way, you know, this is divinely guided. The universe wants this to come in for you, but you must clear the space for it. Um, because, you know, this opportunity, this possibility, can go the distance here. I mean, Scorpio, you know, we go from a 1 to a 10. And, <laughs> I mean, it could happen quite quickly as well. It's sort of like closing up all that gap in between. Um, you know, the 10 of Pentacles is the, you know, the highest reality of abundance. Material abundance. But not just material abundance because pentacles can be security, stability, which can be having a beautiful home full of love and generational living with the pets and the partner and, you know, not having to worry about money and that kind of thing. So I think if something presents itself to you in the near future, uh, whether it's this week or beyond, I think you should go for it. But you have to create the space for it. Um, first because it can go the distance it can become your next chapter it can become your reality Scorpio and it can grow and expand into something truly beautiful Whew, Scorpio it's a beautiful reading um, that's what I have for you I wish you all the best with it this week uh, feel the fear do it anyway release yourself because you're ready to ascend to higher levels um, keep in mind it is a general reading I'm not saying it's for every Scorpio um, feel free to leave me a comment. I'd love to know how it's playing out in your daily life. And I'll see you back here next week for another reading, Scorpio.